Good evening and welcome to episode 7 of the Monty and Joe Show. I am Joe Greats, football coach at Cape Fear High School. Here as always with my co-host, my main man, Monty Fresh, Montel Moore, Flashy Mo. Well, it's been a mess. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we had a hurricane. And, and you know, uh, a hurricane is measured in, in, in force of the wind. And that's kind of how they categorize how mean a hurricane is, basically. But this one... The wind wasn't that strong, but it dumped a whole lot of water. We had, what, in two weeks, 22 inches of rain, something like that. So uh, our community has been affected. Uh, we've got some people that have had some damage, some flooding, some trees down, some roads washed out. So we have not been in school uh, for a week. We came back uh, Monday. Um, so this is our second day back in school. It's been an adjustment. Um, the roads are still uh, getting back to normal. People's homes are still getting back to normal. We've, we've been affected. Um, so we didn't play last week, nonetheless. We didn't even film a show. Um, so I know everybody out there was waiting on that. Yes, but, you, know, you know, Mother Nature intervened. We didn't get our show off. So, uh, you know, we, we didn't play. And now, here we go, after a week of no football, the NCHSAA is coming, and they moved the playoffs back an entire week. And... Mm -hmm. I've been around this town a long time, and I've, I've never seen that happen. So uh, it's kind of played a uh, hard time with our scheduling, with what's going on. We were supposed to play Pine Forest tonight, yes, but they moved that. We've rescheduled that for November 11th, the end of the season, and we've just kind of gone ahead with the rest of the schedule. So this Friday night at home at Cape Fear in the Horseshoe, we play E.E. E. Smith. Smith. Uh, well, Ma, what you got on E.E. E. Smith? They're real talented at the quarterback position. He can throw and very athletic. Um, the wide receivers can big play, make big play targets, you know. Yeah, they've got a couple of big guys. Um, you know, yeah, they're so going to be tough to cover. A lot of big mm -hmm. play potential there. Um, overall? Great. It's going to be a great physical game. Also, they're a solid football team. Yeah, they're, they're a very solid, solid team. Um, this is going to be a big game. Uh, the Smith kind of took it to us last year. Yes, sir. Uh, I know we're ready for a rematch. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, I think we're ready. Yes, we are, Coach. Tell us about the guests tonight. Well, we do have indeed some special guests tonight. Uh, we have two of the nicest young gentlemen that I've ever had the pleasure to coach and teach. Tonight we have Mr. Austin Williams and Mr. Nick Brown. Yay! Woo! Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Money and Joe Show. Thank Welcome you. to Money and Joe Show. Austin, good to have you, man. Thank you, Coach. Hey, Austin, Coach always talks about you a lot. Tell us about yourself. Well, I, uh, I play special teams, you know. I have the best hair on the team. Well, not right now, <laughs> but whenever it's fixed, I do. It's the post-practice hair, I think. Yeah. The product has all come out. Yeah. And I am jealous of that hair, <laughs> I, I have to say. I, he's got great hair. Thank you, Coach. Um, during practice, I just try to make the other players better, even if I'm not starting. And uh, I'm the only colorblind player on the team. Mm. That is an interesting fact that does make you a bit unique. Uh, I, I've... Uh, Montel was right. I talk about you all the time on the show. I think you're a class act. You're a great kid, great young man. Um, you. Ladies out there, I, I, you're single. Yes, sir. <laughs> also, is single. He's a fantastic young man. Uh, I've had some clips of you on the show, whether or not you've seen them. Uh, apparently, I talk about him so much, he doesn't even bother watching the mm -hmm. show. But Austin is a, a great young man, ladies, so uh, he's quite a catch, and he does have great hair. Uh, here for you, love you too, Nick. Love you too, Nick. We call you the nicest person on the planet. That is so very true. I'm a, I'm what you would call a nice guy. I mean, I can't really deny it. Whenever I do hurt someone on the field, I do feel bad. Although you're supposed to. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I I remember one time we were doing a drill and you uh, you messed up the drill and you didn't do what I asked, and you apologized so nicely. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to make you run a lap, so I, I, I can attest to the fact you were one of the nicest kids I've, I've ever had the pleasure to coach and teach. Um, so awesome. Uh, do you are you dating currently? Are you um, I'm playing the field pretty well, but I can't hold a relationship. He, he is <laughs> playing the field. He's playing the field. He's he's out there. He's throwing himself out there, look, looking for uh, looking for a nice lady too. Young single men here. Uh, so you know. <laughs> Always looking for a nice guy because nice guys do not finish last on the Monty and Joe show. <laughs> well, what's your outlook on Friday night? Uh, well, last year they did beat us, but this year I think they're definitely going to test us. 
and both teams are really athletic, so it's going to be a good game. Come out and support Friday night. Nick, anything? Um, I think it's going to actually be close this year. Um, e. e. Smith is a very, very good team. They're very athletic, but so are we. So I'm looking really forward to it. Good, good. Uh, Nick, I, I spoke a little earlier about the hurricane. You and I have talked about this, but you and your family have been like specifically affected by the hurricane. You think you could tell everybody a little bit about that? Yeah, um, we live out in the boondocks, so <laughs> it's, it's very far. <laughs> Uh, we don't have that many neighbors. We have uh, an old er elderly couple living near us, but they're about four or six miles out. We live about four miles into the woods. So whenever it, it was coming, we didn't really think about preparing for it, getting gas, surplus, or anything like that. So when it did hit, we were in a tight spot. Um, we didn't have any food, so I was stuck eating saltine crackers for days on end. Don't like saltines. <laughs> you, lost, you lost power for quite a few days. Yes, I, I didn't get power back until yesterday. It's still kind of iffy. It's going on and off. Mm -hmm. So we still don't know if it's going to be staying. Are you like sure that. that's not just because you had an essay due? It's a, it's <laughs> being a language? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, Nick has been without power. Um, and as he said, uh, they were in a tight spot. So again, he's like a lot of members of our community that have been affected by this hurricane. So those of you who watch the show from as far away as Flint, Michigan, uh, you know that uh, we've been affected by this hurricane. It's hit our community, uh, and it, uh, it's been difficult, but we're adjusting. We're getting back to it. Being back in school is the first step, and, you know, we're here for it. So, Montel, anything to add? Well, you know, we always got your back. Yeah, Coach has got your back, too, man. We're here for you. We're, we're a big family. Uh, we look out for our brothers. Um, so, Friday night, E.E. E. Smith, 7 o'clock here at the Horseshoe. Be there. If you want to find a link to this video, hey, you can find me right here on Have a Great Stay at Twitter. Ooh, I like that. I like, like that. That's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, right? It's good to watch on the video. It's going to be right there. Uh, hey, that's all I got for tonight. This is the Monty and Joe Show, Episode 7. Greats out.